Do, do, do. All right. Did I forget my socks today? I got an alert. Socks L. It was looking dire all the way back down here. October, end of the world. December, end of the world. Hitting, starting to hit some monthly defined support. Oh, at these levels here, gap down below it. Right here. So I always look. I go down when I hit a red candle, close on monthly chart. That means that people said the market says, eh, you're not closing the month below that. Very important. Gap down below it. You had another, another level right here. So you're starting to hit congestion area right about there. Bounce off. Uh, the bear case was that this support turned resistance closing on a declining 12 month average. This could have been a good area to enter short. And you can't argue with that. If you look just at the chart, that was the move. That was the low risk, high reward environment right there. But in order to pull to do that, you need a red candle. So you need a monthly candle close instead of this green one right here that went up with that crazy wick uh, indecision right here. Here we'd have needed a red candle to confirm that uh, that was appropriate area to enter right there and that never came about so it kind of takes the decision making out of uh, your hands uh, simplifies it there's no rush there's no red candle so there's nothing wrong there's no uh, uh, false false trades right there you just can't short you can't uh, enter on that pullback and then after that uh, the market decides okay we're going to start we're going up and now we're in april and i got this alert because i said it at the uh, at these highs right here look at that wick wick that is a lot of selling pressure right there the price action went super high above way above the 12 month average sellers coming in so now april is not done yet uh, we're halfway through so if you're a bull you want to close above this level right here is 174. Uh, implied measure move so let's do implied measure move top to bottom. I'll do a little bit, a little conservative. Add it to the breakout line. Oh, yeah, it could be here. Another area right here. So this is the conservative target right there. You could consider that the breakout line was even lower here, but if you really want to be, make sure you want to make you want to close above that secondary line right there, uh, target area 260. So really, really close congestion area here. If you close above, you're free. You're still way above the 12-month average, so you know the drill. If you don't want to play on the breakout, you don't trust it in case it's a false uh, breakout. You want it to go bounce up, and then if you know. Just like here, we wanted, we were waiting for that pull, that red candle on that pullback to, to confirm that we're going back down. Here, you're going to wait. You're going to get red, red candles. Then you're going to get a green of that 12 month average. And here's the best uh, pullback entry. Just like here, would have been the best pullback entry. But uh, flip flop. Here we are now. Measure move, inclining 12 month moving average. We're really, really close to having a, a trigger on the upside. All right, Stan Weinstein, zoom, 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 zoom. And look at that, Sox, Sox L, outperforming the SPX, great place to be for a whole while, underperforming now, but now crossing over the zero line, Stan, love that. Above an inclining 30-week moving average, above uh, Ichimu Cloud defined resistance. Uh, really looking nice on the 30 week moving average, but same thing. Let's just move that. You're going to want that to catch up. So we really, really, even if we break out, you want to make sure that we go up and within one to three months, you get that pullback. You want to let that 30 week moving average catch up like that 12 moving average. Cause here you're far away. You're in a V shape. You haven't been consolidating sideways and then exploding from a tight range with multiple tests of a breakout line. And when, ha when that happens, when you're testing, 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 uh, you're letting the, the moving average catch up. But right now, it's just been V-shaped and um, 
very risky right now to uh, to really have a convinced you want that at least if you're going to go up through like this without testing multiple times well you want to wait for that retest uh, with that uh, resistance turn support and that's socks l guys can we get some clues on the weekly let's go on the monthly let's see if we're in the power zone are we there yet Ooh, getting there so this is what you're looking for power zone uptrend monthly chart that's where you want to be you don't short when you're there you're not long when you're there but when you cross over you could draw trend lines here when you cross over uh, on the other side and enter the uh, the power zone the, the buying power zone and especially if you get to test here and stay here we could be entering power zone so if that's going to happen the price action is going to do something similar here and then you'll you'll be uh, coasting ahead with the wind in your back with nothing ahead of you so definitely no more shorting of Sox L. Even for a while, it's been you can't short if you're above a 12 monthly average. And now the scenario is completely reversed in just a few months. How things can change. And let's see on the weekly if we have some fuel in that divergence. Do we have a tank full of energy? Lower highs. Not much here. Everything in line. Higher highs. Higher highs, higher highs on the indicator. No buildup, no buildup of uh, energy anywhere to be seen. Everything's in, in harmony. So you just got to wait for the price to unfold, guys. So that's it for Stock Sell. Looking uh, very good, breaking out. Uh, and let's just see how, how, that, that, uh, how that pullback uh, how it materializes, guys. All right. See ya. <laughs>